hello friends welcome to c sharp intermediate to advanced tutorial now you are at final part of the sub series reader writer lock in the previous video we wrote code for uh, writing the data into the array sequence i mean the array list and we acquired the write lock now we will go ahead with the read lock and now we will implement the reader thread a reader thread will read the array list in batches and prints the result so when it is reading it will also occur the lock when it is reading writer thread will not write why because reader thread will block the writer thread but a reader thread will allow another reader thread so in the previous video at uh, step 3 we created a two reader thread right so here you will see uh, how reader thread will read the elements and display it so writer thread will put five element then it will release the lock and there will be two reader thread waiting for the uh, resource to get released resource here is array list once array list is released both reader will enter and writer will wait for a reader i mean reader means here there are two readers right writer will wait for both the reader to finish reading the content array list content all right now we will go ahead and implement the reader task first we learned the basics of reader writer lock and its method like a care reader lock release reader lock a care writer lock release writer lock we also talked about upgrading the reader lock to writer lock then downgrading it back to reader lock next we talked about the example and now we are at this stage we are implementing the reader writer lock so we created task for writer as well as a reader in the last video we implemented this writer thread and the writer thread makes make use of a care writer lock as well as release a writer lock and this is the shared resource uh, which is used by the reader as well as writer and both reader and the writer works on the same lock object so here lock rw already writer task is using it now our reader task also will use the same read reader writer lock and here we are making call to a care writer lock right the method writer here writer lock and release writer lock so this defines what kind of lock to apply and the method a okay, care writer lock will a okay, care lock for the writer or we can tell this as a write lock so this is the shared resource as already told and this is the object we are using for locking purpose in read task also we are using the same kind of variable a counter deciding the loop end then forming the outer loop then we are casting the task name which is coming here as parameter this will this is called or this is run by two thread right reader one reader two so by means of this task name we will get uh, the name given to the threads so during the start method itself we are giving string as a parameter right so that comes here as object and we are casting that to string and we know the thread name here 
for a quick recap if you seen this is our outer loop already our writer thread is acquiring the lock then releasing the lock so this is the outer loop and this part is the inner loop and if you see here in the outer loop this is reader task right we will change it as debug later so here also we are putting a message stating a request for read lock and the method this time what we are using is acquire reader lock then here we will do the reading stuff and after the inner loop we are releasing the reader lock so what happens when reader thread is inside so let's state this is the inner portion when one reader thread is inside by acquiring the lock another reader thread can also enter by acquiring the lock because because here the lock type is reader lock so multiple reader thread can enter but a writer thread cannot enter inside when this task is going on writer thread cannot enter writer thread means so don't get confused we named the thread as writer and it's a writer thread so the lock here is a acquire reader lock and writer thread won't come here at all the writer thread will be here and it tries to acquire a writer lock so when there is a reader lock on the object writer lock cannot be acquired so the object here is same if you see on this lock object acquire reader lock can be uh, can be acquired multiple time but a writer lock cannot but when acquire writer lock is called on uh, this uh, lock rw other writer thread cannot enter inside why because uh, before releasing the lock if somebody next call to acquire writer lock they will get blocked similarly when somebody access the acquire reader lock they also get blocked when somebody already acquired the writer lock but in case of reader lock when somebody acquired the reader lock by making this call one more thread can come and make call to acquire reader lock and they can get inside so that's what here we are stating two reader thread can get inside by by means of acquire reader lock so previously we talked about writer lock right now if there is a lock and the lock is reader lock so multiple writer thread can enter inside but a writer thread cannot enter why because a writer thread will make use of acquire writer lock so we will call this function as al and we will call this as bl so writer lock will actually use al and al acquire writer lock cannot be done when uh, some of the lock is already acquired so multiple reader can get inside why because it's a reader thread is going to call a care reader lock right so when already the bl is called one more thread can come and make a call to bl that way it can lock multiple time or it can acquire the lock or the second reader thread can freely get inside why because the previously acquired lock is a reader lock when writer lock comes and reader locks are already exited let's assume when writer lock comes and access the lock using al the same 
becomes a writer lock. So when it is a writer lock, nobody can enter. Once this writer lock finishes the job, then only any waiting thread can enter. The waiting thread can be a reader lock, uh, I mean a reader thread or waiter, writer thread. Alright, now let's look at the, so this one we already know, we are populating the array sequence in the writer task. Here in the reader task, if you see, we are reading the counter. Here we are making use of add write. Here we are using array sequence counter, type casting it as integer using the index operator. We are reading the content of the array, type casting it and storing that uh, number here. Then counter plus plus, and we are showing task data read and we are showing the number whatever we read and if you see this is done by two reader thread right that means both thread will read the content of array list and they will print it so that means you will be seeing reader one is printing i read number two and reader two also printing i read number two so both will read the content That's all here. Now we will go ahead and implement this. Okay, since we already explored the code, I am copying the content here. The code is similar. The difference is here we are reading the array list and the lock is a reader lock. A care reader lock and release a reader lock and lock rw if you see the same object is shared by both the threads now we will change the console as a debug so that we can look at the output window to see the result Alright, now we will run it. So I'm giving uh, 10 here, loop will run for 50 times. So I will give 5. Here I'm clicking uh, explore, reader, writer, lock, and you can see. A writer thread will write five element then it will wait for reader thread to complete once a reader reads all five element writer will put next five element in the second batch so that's how we had written the code now we will explore and how the locking object helps in communicating between these reader as well as a writer thread so our scenario contains two reader thread and one writer thread now let's uh, click and explore. So 25 is the end. Okay, now we will explore the output. I can even close this. So if you see here, main thread starting reader and writer request for write lock got write lock and writer is adding the content added one in the meantime main thread is gone and it stays on waiting state by means of thread dot join so it's waiting for both the reader thread and writer thread to finish its job so request for write lock and write lock is already got by the writer thread and here if you see in the meantime two reader thread came in and they are climbing the lock and 
lock is not yet occurred and both the readers are blocked why because whatever lock we got is a right lock so reader should wait uh, till the right lock get released so right raise freely adding the element 2 3 4 5 here right of thread is releasing the lock once it released the lock if you see got read lock we saw this message two time so here we should have put the thread name also that will show clearly who got the read lock okay we will do that um, this is what we need here got read lock and here also we can keep all right so this requires a rebuilding this time i will just keep only three time explore okay we will stop the application so request for read lock once again i forgot to put that when you are exploring it you keep that i don't want to do that one more time already the video length is going big so here if you see uh, both reader thread is requesting the lock and they won't get until the writer thread release the lock here writer thread released the lock and you can see reader one got the read lock reader 2 also got the read lock why because the lock type is read write so both reader can access the lock but uh, when uh, writer thread comes it uh, requested for the right lock and it doesn't get so now both the reader threads are reading it this time reader 2 is first reading 1 2 three four and if you see both the readers are busy in reading the content so once they finish reading the content they both release the lock when a reader to release the lock writer won't get the uh, lock or writer thread cannot acquire the lock so here after reader one also released the lock and nobody is locking the resources so writer got a chance to lock the resource then it started adding the task and in the meantime you can see both the reader uh, came out of uh, uh, the inner loop and they are waiting on the uh, lock to acquire the read lock because writer acquired the lock right right lock is for only one thread access it will block both reader as well as writer if you watch the introduction video you will know that so now writer is keep on adding the other five element then it is releasing the lock then reader one got the lock it already read one element in the meantime reader two also got the lock then it is also reading the element in the meantime writer thread is waiting for the lock so likewise it is proceeding and finally all thread quits and main thread also quits because it is joining on reader and writer right waiting for reader and writer so reader writer finished the job so main also quits
so just now you saw the demo thank you for watching bye